with Melting Clocks, I was recording with musicians that I, I was just jamming some weeks before and we got to know each other and I was just uh, amazed by the fact that uh, they're all so uh, gifted and they learned music uh, in a very different way that I'm used to. This is really a real band now and we've had the experience of touring together. We have dozens of shows together so everything is much more intact. We play like a band, we sound like a band and I think that's the first thing you notice in Desert Butterflies is that there's actually a band here that know each other and they have they've gone through things together in the last couple of years and and they play tours and and we've seen the road and we've, we've seen ups and downs and uh, that makes a big difference in the sound of the rhythm section one of the things i like the most about working with yossi is that he's kind of old school in his mindset he tries to bring out the human element in the music it's my first experience playing music that combines uh, east and west and combines layers of certain instruments that some of them i've never heard before and yossi plays them it's, it's kind of awesome you know yossi is the kind of guy that appreciates the people that play the music and he lets them let's you know you can hear it in his music that uh uh, we are all highly invested in what we're doing. Oh, is the right person that we needed in the band, probably, without knowing that we needed such a bass player. Uh, you have to fear the bass player, because bass players, you know, that they have their moods and they can wake up in the morning different every day. You don't know what you'll get, you know. Like Forrest Gump said, bass players is a, like a box of chocolate. You never know what you get, <laughs> you know. <laughs> But I love him, really. Uh, he's like a little brother to me. I really like how Yossi works. Also, I think I learn a lot from him. Uh, also by like his musical approach and his playing, but also about the way he works, you know, in the studio and live and how he like handle things. He's also like one of the you guys that what they say usually happens. You know, a lot of guys just talk. He brings results. And the music is great. The guys are great in the band. Of course, Yossi's guitar lines and. Uh, melody is really strong and, uh, and really catchy but also like you know sound uh, sound unique and just the you know the sound the sonic quality is really good also everything just like uh, right on ben is uh, probably the gifted guitar player that i will never be <laughs> i just think he's one of the best guitar players i ever had the chance to work with i feel privileged to have a person like him play in my group. יש לו סאונד משלו, יש לו סאונד מיוחד משלו. זאת אומרת, אתה שומע את הגיטרה ואתה מיד יכול להגיד, זה, זה יוסי, שזה מיוחד, אתה יודע. בוא נגיד, זו שאיפה של הרבה מוזיקאים, שכל נגן בעצם צריך לרצות. שהוא ינגן על הכלי ויגיד, זה הוא, אתה יודע, זה מה שאתה מצאת את, את הסאונד שלך. The most amazing thing about Shai is that as good as he is on drums, it's nothing near to how good the person he is. He's just an amazing, warm, loving, caring person and he's a good friend. He's the master of rhythm and he holds everything together. I don't feel like a solo artist. I feel like, uh, you know, it's a band. It's just a band with a more distinct, uh, you know, understanding of like who's leading the path, who's, who's showing the, the place where we go. They felt the songs right. They, uh, they have the, their energy and their senses are calibrated to the right frequency of how I feel the album should sound.
יש שר מדליק. I feel that if uh, I need a certain frequency, certain element or a color that uh, some part or song is missing, I need to bring this element into the picture. And that's what we're doing with the sitar. It's not like we don't have enough, you know, buzuki, charango, kanun, a lot of bright string instruments, traditional folk instruments going on there. But when you lay out the, the different layers and colors, you know, it's like the, the flavor, the spice that you put at the end that it, it really makes the whole dish so yummy. Basically, we're going to try a combination of uh, three amplifiers. Uh, we're going to try the good old JCM 900 from Marshall, which is always great to try for decades now. Uh, we're going to try the Laney as well. The Angle Invader 100 is actually the one I'm going to use the most probably, and especially for the soloing parts. But for the rhythmic parts um, and all kinds of layout and different uh, lead parts, I'm, I'm always trying to get some fusion of a mix of sounds and a mix of frequencies. Although the Angle is, is my sound when I go live, uh, in the studio sometimes I add another touch to it. But, uh, just to get the perfect result. Remember, dream, humans, gap, <laughs> short. <laughs> What we are going to do now is, uh, <laughs> I'm going to plug the uh, buzuki to uh, the amplifier of the electric guitar, but I'm going to play the electric guitar. And just get the sympathetic harmonies resonating between the guitars. So we'll be recording this, but I'll be playing this. Why did I move uncomfortably yeah. on the chair? Because basically wh what I'm trying to get is the um, overtone produced by the buzuki part of the buzuki tara. It is affected by the position I'm standing against the speakers. The more gain we have, the more volume we have in the room, it affects that and exact angle, the position I'm standing facing the speakers, affects that feedback and I want to control it. Mod, 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 
טוב, זה העמוד הראשון. ככה שמענו? I don't know. לא נראה לי. הוא לא אמור לעשות, כן. זה לא יקרה איתו. הדו הזה מחרפן לי את החיים. לירון is my musical second half. He's the partner I always wanted. We think similar in many ways. And he, he just has everything that you can look for in a sound technician. He's very professional at what he does. He's also a very cool guy. We get, you know, enthusiastic about stuff like chorus, on, uh, chorus effect on guitars and flangers, you know, all this stuff from the 80s that seemed weird. Uh, to many people when they hear the tracks, but for us it's like, yeah, why not, you know? Yeah, we want that snare, you know, like Fine Young Cannibals and Aha, you know? Yeah, we, we want that, we love that. We, we're kids from the 80s, you know? I'd say in a nutshell that Liron is a, a very professional knob twiddler. He really knows to twiddle my knobs very well. תן לי אחד על הקליק, בלי פרומים רגע, הכל יצא לי פה, גומיה נפלה, אבל גם בלי גומיה, בשביל אהבה שלו. אנפרוטקט צולה. אנפרוטקט צולה לגמרי. אנפרוטקט. רגע, יאללה, מעמד